exciting weekend in sports. And of course, for all the news and notes and highlights, we turn to Sunny Yang with this sunny side of sports. Hi, Sunny. Hey, Hi, Sunny. Vincent, and hello, Demi. Yeah. Sporty greetings once again to all our In Focus viewers. My opening serve is men's tennis, Australian Open tennis. Let's go down under where opening round action began Monday at the year's first Grand Slam event. The defending men's and women's champions are Novak Djokovic of Serbia and Kim Kleisters of Belgium. Kleisters got off to a good start Monday, beating Portugal's Maria Joao Kohler in straight sets, 7-5 and 6-1. Rafael Nadal in the green sports shirt was also a winner on Monday. And so was Roger Federer of Switzerland in the red shirt. Now let's go to Johannesburg, where local favorite Brandon Grace of South Africa won his first European title in golf, finishing first at the Johannesburg Open. Grace got to kiss the trophy and lift it after finishing at 17 under par, one shot better than Englishman Jamie Elson. Brandon Grace is 23 years old, and he turned professional five years ago. He's from Pretoria, so this victory in Johannesburg should be a big confidence booster for him. Finally, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Happy 70th birthday to Muhammad Ali. The boxing great celebrated his birthday a little early over the weekend at the Muhammad Ali Museum and Cultural Center in his hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. The museum opened in 2005 as a tribute to the champion fighter and his values. Muhammad Ali has traveled all over the world promoting humanitarian endeavors such as fighting hunger and poverty. Ali's last fight was more than 30 years ago. There we see him as a young fighter. He's now fighting Parkinson's disease, which has left him uh, trembling and able to speak in only a whisper. Happy 70th birthday to Muhammad Ali. And that's all for sports. I'm VOA's Sonny Young. And thanks a lot, Sunny, for those you, highlights. Uh, be sure to watch for the Sunny Side of Sports every Monday and Friday right here on In Focus.